Happy School Choice Week. Choice is a good thing, but in much of America, students don't have much choice. Kids are assigned schools by zip code. And then many of those schools teach kids that America's terrible and capitalism hurts people. So I started a charity that offers teachers free videos that introduce kids to free market ideas. It should be in more classrooms um, just to spark more conversation. These young people watch the videos in high school because this teacher downloaded them from our website and played them in class. I wanted to show us a brief clip. They were amazing. They really opened up my mind to think differently. It changed the way that I viewed the world. When I originally went to school, it was all taught from one side. This country is horrible because you're a minority, you can't make it. It made me dislike the country initially. Then he watched the videos. This woman who came here from Greece says America. Doesn't pressure you to follow a kind of living. People can express themselves, be wherever they want to be. America's a place where we get to write the script of our own lives. When these videos were shown to me, I felt ashamed for what I initially believed. Gabriel then enlisted in the National Guard. I wanted to give back to not only giving my family so much opportunity, but also to protect, defend, and serve the people of the United States. Dione Perez said watching our videos made him want to take responsibility for himself. We never really thought like this before. You know, we're taught that the government is, they're responsible for us and they're, you know, we're, we have to trust them in doing everything for us. So he started his own business. Welcome to Familia Motor Group. So I have an auto leasing company. Receive your brand new vehicle at your doorstep. I definitely think the Stasso videos kind of helped me become more of an entrepreneur. Just do the work, you know, it's just be independent. Don't expect anyone to do anything for you. Don't expect any handouts, just get it done. Good, mark it and great. Many students had never heard that competition and markets can be useful. I wasn't really exposed to any of those ideas. I never saw it before. I never heard about like this side of um, the stories. 800 million people out of poverty in Southeast Asia because they've implemented a little bit of capitalism. If I'm wrong about this, what else am I wrong about? The videos come with teacher's guides, full-length classroom lessons with discussion questions and writing assignments. Even if people disagree with the video, that's kind of good to talk about too. After a year of watching the videos, students tell us certain ideas stuck with them. One was unintended consequences, that the government would try to do things to make, the, make it beneficial to the public, but it turns out it actually made things much worse. For example, he did a piece about minimum wage and how increasing it would supposedly be better for young working class people, but it turned out the unintended consequences were the minimum wage increase priced out young people from getting jobs into the market. Other students were surprised at how hard it is to start a business in America. Do you have a license? Stasso goes over to Hong Kong and he gets a license in just two hours. Thank you, sir. Rather than over here, it takes months and even years. I know the struggle that my, my parents had to go through to open their business, so that was kind of the training, turning point for me. One particular video that really piqued my interest was um, the evil rich. The top 1%! People really think that the 1% is evil because they make so much money. But the video explains the rich could only get rich by inventing better things, things we want. If it wasn't for Steve Jobs, like creating these iPhones or creating like the Mac computers or the Mac laptops, our life would not be as easy as it is today. This is one of the most incoherent things about the regimes. For example, this video called Death by Socialism. It contradicts all these like beliefs of how socialism is great and how it helps like the poor and all that. And it kind of showed us like, oh, it might not really that great. After watching in class, many students share what they learned. I went to my mom and I was like, do you know who's really paying for the, all this government stuff? Every time I talk to my friends and we bring up anything about politics, I bring up this new idea that I learned on a Stasso video and they'll be like, really? Like, I've never known that. 10 million students now discuss these videos in class. Like he said, unintended consequences, because like, for example, with government, how they give people welfare. Why video? Isn't the textbook enough? A lot of people well, at least my age group, they don't like to read and analyze. They prefer to watch videos. So now our charity helps explain free markets to students who rarely hear about that in school. School choice doesn't only mean where you go to school. It also means what you get to learn. And education choice doesn't have to end with school. Even now that I graduated high school, I'm not watching Stossel in the classroom there, but I'm watching Stossel at home. 
Get out of my life.